morning everyone. I should have filmed this before I got near the tour groups, but we are at Imdengak today, which is on the border of the DMZ, which is a border in and of itself. We are going to walk around. I've been here once before when I studied abroad here in 2012, but to be honest, it was kind of a blur. We aren't going to go to JSA or anything, which is probably what most people think of when they think of the DMZ, but there is an observation deck here. There is a peace park, Pyeonghwa Nuri Kongwon, um, which I really want to see. There's a lot of really beautiful artwork and stuff. Um, yeah, there's just, there's a lot of stuff to be learned here, but first we're going to hit a cafe. It is 9.30. I got up at like six to get here. This is all accessible by public transportation, but yeah, it's supposed to be so hot today. It's supposed to be like 32. So I decided to come as early as possible. Thank God this cafe opens really early um, just to kind of beat the heat. So I didn't expect a lot of tour groups to be here at 9 a.m., but they are. So we're gonna hit a cafe, chill for a sec, and then see what there is to see here. I'm very excited. Let's go. So we are here at 4B, which is a newly opened cafe right behind the observation deck. And it's really cool because it's just all glass and you have this view of North Korea. It's just this fence and then it's just the DMZ and over them yonder hills um, is North Korea. And I don't know, the DMZ always gives me very weird feelings and I'm not even Korean so it's Anyway, the, the owner is very nice, he speaks English, and um, the coffee is delicious. I thought because I was sitting here they'd give me a, a glass, but too late. It's, it's air conditioned, it's very minimal inside, there aren't very nice seats, there aren't any, very many seats, but still, just for this view to be able to sit inside and just see this, it's much quieter than the observation deck. This is really, really cool, I'm glad that they opened this. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here for a little while longer, just take this in, then let's head up to the observation deck and see the peace park. It's Okay, I love people. So first of all, the owner of that cafe is so nice. As you saw, kept giving me service, but he was giving, there was like another couple in there as well. He kept giving them service too. I think it was just like warming up for the day. But then the other couple, the woman in there was like, directing her husband for like where to take photos of her and we both left at the same time and she was trying to get a picture in front of the cafe and so I just offered like hey do you want me to take one of both of you and she was like yes oh my god yes so I took two pictures for her and then I I like turned to take to take a photo of the roses I was standing next to and she just creeps up and she's like oh she like can we take a picture so yeah we took a picture together because of the memories she wanted a picture of the person that she met here so how just lovely and warm so nice I've literally met three people today and they've all been so nice
Wow, so yeah, I wasn't expecting this many tour groups. It's actually a lot of Korean school groups. Um, there's also so many tractors. Why are there? Okay, I digress. But anyway, um, now I am walking over to the Peace Park. It's literally just across this giant parking lot. Um, this is all walkable, all in the same area. And um, yeah, we're gonna see some really interesting pieces of art that I have wanted to see for a while. I can already see one from here. They're like massive, massive pieces of art. So yeah, I also got a pin for myself and a pin for my dad. I don't know why I always do this. I always buy my dad pins, but we don't even use pins. Like I barely even use pins. Where do they go? Why do I always buy them? I don't know, but he's got another one. Anyway, I've made it across the giant parking lot. I feel like I'm back in America. I feel like half of my life in America is walking through parking lots, but we've reached. This looks significantly less crowded. I'm happy. Let's go. Okay, I need to like hire this photographer. So there's a lot of kindergarten and like pre-k groups like baby babies are here and they're trying to take photos So the photographer man is going like <laughs> Like making really funny noises to get them to smile. <laughs> it's, it's working at least for me <laughs> Okay, this is supposed to be like a peace park, but there's this man who is having like the angriest conversation on the phone. So it's like, I'm looking at all these peaceful things, but this guy is like, like screaming and cussing. And it's um quite a contrast, but now I'm, I'm away from him. So it's, uh, it's better again, but yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, it has become hot. It is no longer the cool morning. So yeah, I thought the park was a little bit bigger than this. It's still really nice. I actually think it's nice that it's smaller because I was picturing like huge and I would have to walk a lot, but it's actually all very close together. It's it's really nice. It's crowded with school groups, but I think it's it like adds to the kind of joyful and hopeful atmosphere, I would think. I don't know, cute little kids, they always give me hope. So there also is currently a group of them trying to walk down stairs and it's, um, it's a challenge. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I think I'm going to head home. Maybe I'll get something to eat. Where did this kid get a bicycle? Let's head back to the station and uh, see if I can get a snack or something. Let's go. Things I forgot to mention. This place is typically where um, I've heard families whose ancestry is linked to North Korea. Kind of common for them to come here on Seolal or Chuseok, New Year's or Thanksgiving, um, to kind of pay respects because those are holidays where normally they would go to like your ancestors' resting place and kind of clean the clean the grave, pay your respects. But obviously if your family is from North Korea, you can't do that. So yeah, it's typical for people to come here and pay their respects, which actually our current president is. Interesting story, his parents were on the very last boat. I'll link it down below, the info, but they were on the very last boat out of North Korea. It set some kind of world record of like how many people they could fit on a boat to get people out. And they landed in Busan. And because of that, he is able to be president of South Korea instead of um, living in North Korea right now. So it's pretty wild. Now I'm going to walk through the amusement park and um, oh, oh, one, one other thing. There's also things that you can go to that you need to pay for, um, such as going into the bunker or going into some of the tunnels. If you're coming here to do that, 
please bring your passport or some kind of identification. They need that to let you in. So yeah, I'm not going to do that today because I was really here for the park. So yeah, that is, that is an option for you as well if you come here, but I gotta go find shade ASAP. Let's go. And with that, I think I'm going to head home. There's this really big park filled with a lot of statues and memorials and a lot of information in English, which is really cool. We are gonna try and catch a bus home. And thank you as always for joining me. This was really interesting. I highly suggest if you don't mind taking a bit of a train ride, coming out here and just, even if you just go to the cafe and, and take it all in, it's um, really interesting. You learn a lot just from the little signs around here. Um, and just the atmosphere is a very interesting one to take in, especially on a weekday where there are a lot of kids and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to head out now and I will see you guys next time. I think next time um, my next vlog might be an American one. I'm going to America tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. Thanks as always for watching. Bye. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna have to wait here in the hot, hot heat for an hour, but the bus was three minutes late. Oh, yes. <laughs>